In this video we are going to try and set up single sign-on for BigCommerce application using JWT protocol. JWT stands for JSON Web Token. JSON Web Token is a JSON-based open standard for passing claims between parties and web application environment. The tokens are designed to be compact, URL safe, and usable, especially in web browser single sign-on context. When a user lands on the BigCommerce login page a JWT request is sent to Mini Orange. Users enter their credentials on the Mini Orange login page or on their IDP's login page. Once user is authenticated, Mini Orange sends a JWT response token back to BigCommerce. BigCommerce verifies the token and logs the user in. First let's go to the BigCommerce admin console and create the API. Log in to BigCommerce admin panel. First of all let's install the Mini Orange app. Go to the apps section from the left navigation panel and then my apps. From my draft apps section select the Mini Orange app and install the app. Now launch the app. You have successfully installed and launched the Mini Orange application. Now to set up single sign on go to the setup and configuration section. Click on advanced settings. Here from create API account drop down choose create v2 v3 API token option. Enter API account name. This is the store hash and it will be used ahead when we set up the attribute mapping. Enable the customers option as modify and customers login option as login. Now scroll down to save the settings. The API credentials file is downloaded. It contains the API token, client ID and client secret which we will need to configure SSO in Mini Orange console. Now let's switch to the Mini Orange admin dashboard and set up SSO for big commerce application. Mini Orange provides you with the one-click login option where you can easily log in to Mini Orange dashboard with just one click. First go to the setup and configuration section. Now scroll down and find configure application in Mini Orange. Click on admin console, and you will be directly logged into the Mini Orange dashboard. Click on the app section from left navigation bar. To add an application, click on add application button. Find the JWT section and then create an app. Now select Big Commerce application. Fill in all the basic information. Enter API name. Enter redirect URL. It is the Big Commerce token endpoint where you will be redirected to after single sign on. It usually looks like this. Select login method from the drop down. You can also opt for two factor authentication or adaptive authentication and save the settings. Your app is configured successfully. For attribute mapping go to select and click on edit. Enter client ID, app secret, and client token, which we downloaded during API creation in BigCommerce console. We need the following attributes to be mapped between the IDP and Mini Orange application. Click on attributes plus button. The first three attributes will be hard-coded values. First one is store hash, which we saved earlier during the API creation process. Next is the redirect to parameter. That needs to be set to hash account.php or the endpoint where you wish to redirect the user to after SSO. Next is the operation parameter. That is set to customer login. If you are using an external IDP like Azure AD, you need to map the attributes coming in from the IDP by choosing the external IDP option. First set email. Then first name. And then last name. Set the email address, first name and last name attributes as provided by the IDP. If you are using Mini Orange's IDP, the email needs to be mapped to email address, first name to first name, and last name to last name as shown. Here this is the URL that we will be using to enable single sign-on for BigCommerce. And save the settings. Your app configuration updated successfully. Now if you want to add an identity provider, go to the identity provider section from left panel. Click on add identity provider button. 
you can configure any identity provider of your choice for example Okta, Azure AD and many more. You can also manage users in Mini Orange for authentication. Here I am adding Azure AD. You can either import IDP metadata from here or fill in the required details in their respective fields which you will get from your IDP console and save the settings. Your identity source setup has been saved. Now let's go and take a look at single sign on login. You will need the SSO URL which was created during the app configuration in the mini orange dashboard. You can embed the SSO URL on your BigCommerce login page. On accessing the SSO URL you will be redirected to the IDP configured, in this case the Azure AD, login page where you will be asked for valid credentials. On entering the valid credentials, you will be redirected to the BigCommerce store. Amazing work guys! Now you know how to set up SSO for BigCommerce application using Mini Orange dashboard. Thank you for watching this video. For more information drop us a query on info at securify.com for any other question.